So this here is my campsite on the East Branch of the Clockendaga River. It's a nice little campsite. Um, third time recording this video because for some reason the first two times didn't cut record correctly. So it's a nice night. It was a little, um, <clears throat> little, little chilly by mid morning. I didn't set up a tent. I was going to have a heated tent, but I was like, I don't want to bother a tent, so I just camped from the truck cap. Wasn't bad. A couple times the blankets got kicked out from under me, so I didn't wasn't as warm as I could be. Yeah, I just use basic sleeping pads. I don't still get really fancy, but that's not me. Got my shelf, my gun rack, and uh, the controls for the lights. I use this plastic container that I found on the street corner for uh, for my food and supplies, and a cooler. I really don't need the cooler because it's been cold enough that everything stayed cold. And I've had some issues with the. Um, Heater getting too close to the uh, chair. This new chair for some reason is very, uh, very uh, low temperature to burn, so it melts very easily. And also, I was not happy last night. This got kind of melted, but yeah, it is what it is. I like staying warm, and the heater certainly does that. And uh, had a nice roaring fire, but I like keep my back end warm too, especially camping in December. So uh, yeah, it's been kind of a great day. Saved the wood. I just burned local wood there, and the wood I bought. So we save the eight bucks. And it's a nice sight, though. It's great, great, uh, great weather today, but it's you know relatively warm. And um, the flip side is too that. Uh, oops, sorry. Um, that, you know, um, I have cell service here, so I like being able to you know play on my phone at night when it's you know late at night and catch up on the news. And if there ever was an emergency, I could call. You know. Like, the truck didn't want to start even though I had it all metered out and carefully set up. But yeah, there's the camper shell. I love the sportsman windows. That's probably the best option to get on a truck cap. It's w definitely worth the money, especially getting in and out. Although now the walls are the cut cap being this a lifted truck, they're, they're you know five feet off the ground, but oh well. Well, I think we cut it off now. Hopefully this is the fourth recording of this video, but for some reason it doesn't keep saving. So hopefully it will save now and you can enjoy my little, little video at the campsite.